सो हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज माय टीम सिलेक्शन वीडियो फॉर मैच डे टू आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड माय लिमिटलेस एंड वाइल्ड कार्ड ड्राफ्ट फॉर द सेम आई वा ऑल्सो बी डूइंग द डेडलाइन स्ट्रीम फॉर मैच डे टू सो इफ यू न्यू अराउंड हियर मेक श्योर सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो हिट द बल आइकन सो दैट यू विल गेट नोटिफाइड वेन एवर आई अपलोड अ वीडियो और गो ऑनलाइन एंड विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स जस्ट गेट राइट इन टू इट सो इन द लास्ट मैच डे दैट इज मैच डे वन आई मेड एटी फाइव पॉइंट्स आई शूस्ट माई कैप्टनसी फ्रॉम हॉलैंड टू बेलिंग दम इन मैच डे टू एंड गॉट डिसेंट scores all around the pitch so this game week i have two free transfers and 0 million in my bank so the players that i'm looking to get are K- obviously kane so i have holland and i have uh, lewandowski in my team so the only way i could get kane is downgrading either one of them so holland hasn't been scoring those high figures about 10 points in recent game weeks alvarez is outscoring him outperforming in him in recent game weeks in premier league too but he's has been getting those chances to get a mega haul but he's just isn't clinical enough whereas barcelona has been really doing great and uh, lewandowski has been scoring goals but still i think when uh, haland is getting those chances i think it's very difficult to transfer him out cuz uh, man city might just click and score six seven goals even against leipzig as they did in last Uh, seasons but it was a home game this time around it's an away game in the away game last season they drew i think one all and haland did blank so again there's a chance that i transfer out haland but right now i'm transferring out i think uh, lewandowski and taking in kane and my next transfer would be building bringing in a defender who plays a defender or midfielder who plays on day one of match day 2 So right now I am looking at Di Marco of Inter Milan and also I am looking at an Arsenal defender the likes of Saliba or Gabriel I don't think I am going to go with their full backs as there is a chance of rotation so the player I am looking to transfer out is Diaz cuz I don't think Man City will keep a clean sheet away from home so and he's priced at 5.5 million too so I'll probably say I transfer out Diaz and bring in Di Marco so this is how my game week match day 2 team would look like i am going with Ro- R- ramiro in my goal real sociedad against salzburg and i think it's an away game for real sociedad and salzburg did win against benfica in match day 1 so I'm not sure i will get a clean sheet here but i do have ter stegen on my bench again it's an away game for him in porto i do expect some saves points from these two so yeah in my defense i'm going with davis Uh, let's say i bring in di marco in place of ds and then it's going to be di lorenzo again not expecting clean sheet f- except from davis davis definitely copenhagen away expecting some clean sheet and also attacking points di marco was rested in the uh, serie a uh, where i think inter milan won and augustino or whatever its name is he started and also got an assist but i think this is a must game win as they draw to drawn to real sociedad in match day 1 so i think di marco starts and i hope he gets some attacking returns here there's also chance i can go for dumfries but right now it's di marco or dumfries in played in that sira a game and was subbed off at 79 minute and darmian came on but yeah right now it's di, uh, di marco then it's di lorenzo against real madrid and it's an home game for napoli so everything is not good in the napoli camp uh, they said uh, they haven't been performing that well th- though they have won the recent sirai game but there's an osimhen issue quarachil has started getting some attacking returns this few days or few game weeks but yeah it's real madrid vinicius junior is again fit bellingham has been playing really great so i don't think they keep a clean sheet here but i still would like to go with him uh, he has that attacking potential and he also gets points on those ball recoveries and on my bench i have rom who is playing up against man city don't think he comes on at any point in this match day and then i have cancelo who will be coming up against porto away so it's a choice between diaz and cancelo to transfer out but i think i'll transfer out diaz cuz i think po- uh, cancelo has that attacking potential and definitely can get some returns against porto even though it's an away game then midfield i've gone with bellingham sane thuram and then it's um, simmons so again starting off with simmons 
think there's chance that Leipzig gets some uh, joy at home against Man City. And if I wanted to bet that Leipzig scoring, I think Simmons would definitely play a part in there. So I'm sticking with Simmons. And then it's Thuram who again got an assist in the Serie A game last match day. And I think he will be a starter for this. Arnautovic is injured and as Thuram didn't start in the last match day, Arnautovic did. Arnautovic is out with hamstring injury I guess so Thurem and Martinez start up front for Inter Milan so I'm going with him it's Benfica at home then it's Ane against Copenhagen do expect some attacking returns here he also got some in match day one he's a star performer for Bayern Munich uh, in the Champions League for last couple of years also performed really well for Man City in the Champions League he is a Champions League guy so definitely going with him and then it's Bellingham who was rested in a one-off game in the uh, La Liga and then again played in the last game week and also got an assist I think for the Chamini goal I do definitely want him this uh, match day against Napoli as I think Real Madrid would have all their injured players back in terms of Carvajal, Mendy and also Vinicius Jr. And I think he definitely will get some attacking returns. If not a goal, he will get grab an assist. Then on my bench, I have I think I have Ivanusek who will be coming up against Atletico Madrid and it's an away game. Don't expect any attacking return from him. I don't think I will bring him on either. Then up front, I have Keane. As I said, I brought him so let's just say I brought him in place of Lewandowski then it's Holland and it's Alvarez so I didn't actually I don't actually fancy the double Man City forwards I would like to have the likes of Morata or Felix in there but yeah I've gone with these two in my match day and both of them got attacking returns Alvarez getting the better of Haaland but yeah again there is a chance that I could transfer out Haaland instead of Lewandowski and bring in Kane but right now I've gone with this front three expect some attacking returns between those two but Kane is the main man for this match day he will be coming up against Copenhagen definitely can get a hat trick here so let's just see i would captain him in match day one if it doesn't work out it would be between holland and alvarez to keep the to take the arm band in day two of match day two so yeah that's it do let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below and again i will be doing a deadline stream of match day two and yeah so that's why like the video subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever i upload the video and i am see you in the next one good luck for match day two